So we have a programming language such as Java that can do millions of things fast, efficient and in a nice coding style. If that wasn't already enough, it only needs to be compiled once in order to run pretty much on any operating system there is. Being this perfect, what else could we even need? Well, there are frameworks that can help us further. Now, what could a framework do for a language that is already quite capable by itself? Let's first take a look and make sure we understand what a framework really is. Probably the best example is to imagine building a house using Java or any programming language really. Could be compared to laying each brick and nailing each board. But wouldn't it be easier to use a pre-built framework? A framework provides a structure, a foundation on which you can build your house. It's like a blueprint guiding you through the process and providing the essential components. In software development, a framework is a pre-written set of code that provides a structure for building applications. It offers a collection of tools, libraries and best practices that simplify the development, improve efficiency and ensure consistency. Think of it as a toolbox filled with ready-made components that you can use to assemble your application. Now, one of those frameworks that exists for Java is the Spring Framework. It's a comprehensive platform that offers a wide range of tools and features to simplify the development of enterprise applications. Think of it as a pre-built foundation on which you can construct your Java application. Making use of the Spring Framework simplifies your life as a Java developer. Instead of writing repetitive code for common tasks like database interactions or web requests, you can use the pre-built components from this framework. It promotes good coding practices and encourages you to write clean, modular and reusable code. It just makes your life a tad easier. It provides tools for testing, security and deployment so you don't have to worry about these aspects from scratch. In short, the Spring Framework is a powerful tool that can help you build better Java applications faster. Now, I think I don't have to tell you that the Spring Framework is a big thing. In fact, it's huge. It covers a vast area of topics and consists of countless hours of thought and development by one of the most skilled Java developers there are on this planet. And because it has grown to such a big set of functionality, it also had to be divided into different focus areas. Otherwise, managing this huge code basis would become impossible. Therefore, new focus areas have been created. Namely, those would be the core concepts of the Spring Framework, as well as testing, which enables creating a mock environment and support for both integration testing and unit testing for your application. Then there is the area of data access, managing everything related to transactions and also to DAO support, where DAO stands for Data Access Objects, making it easy to work with data access technologies in a consistent way. Also covered within this area is database connectivity with JDBC and R2DBC, object relational mapping and XML marshalling, which essentially is the act of converting an XML document to and from an object. Another area of Spring Framework are the web servlets, incorporating support for Spring MVC, helping you to build web applications in Java. It follows the model view controller architecture pattern, which separates the application into three main components. The area of web servlets also incorporates support for cross-origin resource sharing, also named CORS, allowing web applications to interact with resources from different domains. This is important because by default web browsers prevent scripts on one domain to making requests to another. For those in need of a messaging protocol, support for stomp messaging is also there. Now, what could be done with that? Well, stomp stands for simple text-oriented messaging protocol. And like the name suggests, it is a protocol for messaging. It can be used for creating chat applications, online gaming, social media, you name it. And any application that requires real-time communication or exchange of messages between different components can make use of Stomp messaging. You might have already heard about Spring Boot, which, as its name suggests, is also part of the Spring framework. It simplifies the development process by providing a pre-configured environment. It's essentially a convention over configuration approach that helps developers get started quickly. You can think of Spring Boot as a specialized tool within the Spring Framework Toolbox, designed to streamline application creation and deployment. The resulting application you create can be both a JAR or a more traditional WAR file. You think we are through with all the topics? 
Well, let me assure you that we barely even scratched the surface. The Spring Framework has much, much more to offer, but this also would blow up the scope of this video. Want to know more? Two steps. Like this video and subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Gene. See you in the next video.